must have known nothing this about is, him. I don't know. He was very active in his ministry. In his Holly, for those of you who took the first class, Holly Springs Baptist Church organized in 1860, right before the Civil War. And this was the original location of the original church because they had the cemetery uh, next to the church. In 1959, they built a new church, which after you pass DuPont Road, it's down the left. Not right. 1959. They built a they built a building about where them cars is parked. In that 19... was 1959. Yeah, that building down there's not been down there more than about 10 or 12 years. Really? Yeah. Well, how that's not the way they wrote it. They messed up and they wrote well, it. Well, the, orig <laughs> the original building was the typical old white building. The back of it was from the cemetery and it faced that way and set right just about where that's at. Wow. And they See, built they Leon built a concrete Page. block building on the other side of it, and then they tore the old building down. Leon Pace is our county historian. No. <laughs> <laughs> One of them. <laughs> <laughs> he knows more than anybody would ever think to know about this whole community. But, uh, but I'm not 1959 on the existing bed, and that's much more current. That's more current down there. Yeah. So they were here for many years then. Many, many years. And it caused big problems when part of them wouldn't move away from here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it caused a split. Oh, wow. Well, that then, never happens in a Baptist church. Oh, <laughs> not unless you decide to move the church or do something to the cemetery or something like that. <laughs> the oldest gravestones in the cemetery are those of Flossie Jemison, 1879, and Nancy Jordan, who died in 1879. In 1937, older graves were found that are not visible today. They, I couldn't find them. And they're not in the cemetery book. It says they were there, but they couldn't find them. Right. One was the gravestone of Mary A. Shepherd, who died in 1870. There is one Confederate veteran here, John A. Patterson, who enlisted in 1862 and deserted a year later in Tennessee. And there are graves of five Union veterans here. Joseph Hamilton enlisted in the 2nd North Carolina Mountain Infantry in 63 and was appointed captain. Uh, he had was not a Confederate deserter. He had never been eligible for or, or, uh, Confederate service. So he's one of the very few that we can actually say may have done it for conscious re for uh, conscientious conscientious yeah. reasons yeah. Uh, because he was not eligible for mandatory Confederate service and he had not joined the Confederate Army. So he's one of those handful that I was... And his name was Hamilton? Yeah, Joseph Hamilton. Joseph. Uh, his son, though, his son, Voltaire B.C.V. Hamilton, was a Confederate officer <laughs> in a Confederate regiment and um, died fighting for the Confederacy in Tennessee. So it's a very interesting dichotomy there. Um, Robert Franklin Hamilton does not have a marked stone here, but according to his death certificate, he is buried here. Which Robert Franklin Hamilton? I don't Are know. Are you talking about the Reverend? He that's and, supposed to be a marker for him. He and another Union veteran are buried here, Edward Shipman, and they were Confederate deserters who enlisted in the second. Well, the Reverend Robert Hamilton the one that done that. Okay, so they he do have He punched himself one. in the roof of the mouth to okay. cause blood to appear so that he could get out of the Confederate Army. Okay. And then he hit after he could join the oh, Union Army. I've read Army. that story, yeah. 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 <laughs> Voltaire B.C.V. Hamilton, who was the brother of Joseph Hamilton, so they were two Voltaire B.C.B. Hamiltons. One was his son and one was his brother. The brother of Joseph Hamilton enlisted in the Union Army with his brother, and he was also not eligible for Confederate service. So he's the other one that went in that didn't have to go in. And Drury Wilson Patterson enlisted in the 3rd North Carolina Mounted Infantry at the very, very end of the war in 64, last month of the war. This cemetery also contains the gravesite of the Reverend Hampton William H. W. Patterson and many of his descendants. Patterson was one of those very famous early Baptist ministers and one of the Hamiltons was too, but Terry left and I don't know about him. Do you know about the Hamilton that was an early Baptist minister? Is he buried here? The Reverend Robert Franklin Hamilton was yeah. an early Baptist man. Okay. You just mentioned his right. military service. Okay. He's the earliest one I know in that line. And H.W. Patterson, though, was very early because in the 1830s he was down in Rutherford County. Uh, 
he was ordained to the ministry by Mountain Creek Baptist Church in Rutherford County. And he was one of the most noted Baptist ministers in the region. He served churches in Rutherford, McDowell, Polk, Haywood, and Transylvania. He was at one time pastor of Refuge Baptist, Liberty Baptist, and Crab Creek Baptist. And he helped to organize Refuge Baptist in the Dana community. Right. So, and his grave is down here. And many, many of his descendants lived in this community. So they called him Hemp, Hemp Patterson. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you have other questions about the community and the Hamiltons and the Pattersons, because lots of other folks here, but y'all can tell you, I pointed out your grand, your daddy's grave at oh, Berea. Really? <laughs> yeah, my grandfather. Yeah. And you passed my daddy and mama's grave at Crab Creek, getting yeah. over to see Billy and Benny yeah. McQuarrie's grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Leon grew up here, so he's an expert. And uh, you come to Brevard, I will you? say this, Holly Springs, Springs does not maintain this cemetery very much because it's inactive. There's no room to bury anyone else. Right here. They've got space <laughs> right up where this pan is. Well, they told me they've quit burying people I here. I know it, but they've still got space. <laughs> <laughs> they can now start eating in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> but they said they quit burying folks here. And then they told me, well, you're lucky. We don't really keep it. They admitted they don't maintain it well, but they said, we're going to have it mowed for you guys because we've got homecoming Sunday. So this we is, looked up. This is absolutely the best I've ever seen it. When so. I was here a month ago, you couldn't even walk through here. So it's like mm. they've really fixed it up for you. I was trying to say when I came here last time, you couldn't even hardly get through. So you meander a little while. We'll stay here just a few minutes, and then we'll head on up to DuPont. Sam, how you doing? Yo, Lee, I, yeah. you are somebody. 